my photos directly into iPhoto or photo directly from my iPhone. And let's take this one as an example. So I have a, a picture of the fingerless gloves on the green background. But as you can see, it has quite a bit of stuff that needs to be fixed. So first of all, I'll give it a name. And since I've done Choose Your Cable Adventure fingerless gloves before, I'll just pop that in there and put in today's date of March 12th, one, and then I'll open it up to edit it. The first thing I do is since my iPhone takes these live photos, which I think is really quite odd, I get rid of turn off live photo. At one point, I think I'll turn that off on my phone if I have the ability to do that. I just haven't gotten around to it. But you see this, uh, all the folds and the creases in the portfolio that need to go. And also, it could use some cropping and a little bit of uh, brightening, perhaps. So I edit it for cropping. And then I adjust the color. I like it a little bit brighter. And then we're done from an iPhoto perspective. All those creases and uh, and Mars to the, the background, I do in a different um, software. So I'll go ahead and export. And then you'll see that Choose Your Fingerless Adventures Gloves is here, so I'll open it with Affinity Photo. It's one of my favorite. It's as close to Adobe Photoshop as I could find for a much less expensive price. And then they have this great, I forget what it's called, uh, in-painting brush tool that allows me to just, with this little circle, go over inconsistencies and it just erases them I didn't like that one so I'll undo that It's usually a little faster than this. My system must be a little slow today. And so I have to make it a little bit smaller so that I can, no, not that small. And one of the things I don't like is where the shadows come in um, it still shows that line a little bit, so I'm going to make that bigger one more time and just kind of try to meld these colors in together a little bit and see what we get. I don't like that. Eh, that's not too bad. It kind of looks like just the shadows of the yarn coming in, which is perfectly fine. Most blog readers wouldn't notice that I had done anything to it. So then I'm going to export that as a JPEG with Choose Your Cable Adventure out to my blog photos. And that's all there is to it. And that is the eventual photo that you see um, posted out on my blog a, co a couple days ago.